Today, I'm going to teach you how to create seamless patterns in Midjourney. Seamless patterns can be used for a multitude of things, from backgrounds to wallpapers to textiles, even wrapping paper. So whatever you need seamless patterns for, whether that's a personal project or your e-commerce store, for instance, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use one parameter in Midjourney that allows you to create seamless patterns. And after that, I'm going to show you a free website that you can check to see if your pattern is actually seamless. Let's dive into it. So right now I'm in my AI art studio, basically a place where I can store all of my art and the prompts that I use for those pictures. I have a nice gallery there. I have a consistent characters hub within this so I can create consistent characters easier. And also I have some components in here, actually over 600 components, 50 of which happen to be textures and patterns. So I'm going to open up my components database and then I'm going to first go look for a texture and pattern that I can use and create a seamless pattern with. As you can see, I have all sorts of different patterns in here that I can choose from. I can create my own patterns if I want, but let's pick one from this list. Let's say I like this crystalline structures pattern. What I can do is I can quickly copy this and head over to Midjourney. And now what I can do is I can type in slash imagine and paste in that pattern. And of course I can add things onto this. Maybe I wanna add a color. Well, what I could do is I could quickly head over to my color palettes and I can look for a color palette that might look good with this crystalline structure. So maybe I want earthy browns and greens. I can quickly copy that, head back over and then just paste that in really quick. And then this is where the secret parameter comes in in order to make your pattern seamless. And that is the tile parameter. So this parameter allows you to create seamless patterns in Midjourney, and it's that simple. I can give it some other parameters if I would like. Maybe I want an aspect ratio of 16 to nine. I can put that, and then I can send it off. Now that I have my patterns created, in order to actually check if these are seamless, it's important we add one more step to this workflow. So first, we actually need to upscale which pattern we like. And so far, out of these four, I think I like the top right pattern the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit U2 to upscale that. Now I'm going to hit open link and save this image to my computer. Next, I am actually going to head over to this seamless texture checker, and I will leave a link to this website in the description below so you can use it. This puts your images together in a tile-like pattern to actually check if they are seamless. So what I did was I hit this file button up on the top of this box here, and now I can upload my seamless pattern. And as you can see, there are no lines and nothing looks off within this pattern. So this is a good seamless pattern that you can use. There's no seams in here and everything flows very nicely. Now let me upload a file that's not seamless so you can see how it would look. As you can see, there's lines, different boxes, obviously not a seamless picture. I can scroll down the page and tell that pretty easily. But then when we upload our seamless pattern, as you can see, it just looks like one background. So this has been a very quick tutorial on how to create seamless patterns within Midjourney. If this did help, please drop a like and subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. And just as a reminder, I will leave that seamless tile checker down in the description. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.